you guys obviously screen across the board all industries. Which industries in particular have the most worrying stats? We have only this year done a drill down by industry and we did the drill down on the actual criminal record check. And we found that um, the taxi industry and the automotive industries mm -hmm. are our highest, um, sitting over 15% um, hit rate on criminal record checks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, just further on, um, some of your, your other stats which relate to qualifications, etc. I just want to read some of these out. Um, I guess this is, is probably the more worrying um, stat, uh, particularly if you consider, you know, we had in the Eastern Cape and KwaZulu Natal um, school kids um, found guilty of cheating in exams. 6.8% um, of qualifications submitted for verification were fraudulent, and 10% of matric certificates were fraudulent. Um, give that to us in numbers. Can't give it to you in numbers. <laughs> okay. Um, but yes, I mean, obviously, just still a, a worrying trend. Um, you know, we've also seen what happened, uh, has been happening at the SABC, people lying about qualifications. Um, how do we sort of crack down on something like this in South Africa? Well, I think, I think this kind of awareness, um, this is the reason why we're publishing these kind of stats, this kind of awareness. And I think the, the, the kind of press coverage that occurred in 2014 is making, mm. first of all, government institutions more aware of, of, of this and, mm. and the fact that it's happening. We as a, a company have a number of government institutions who are our clients, and a lot of them over the past number of months have done huge projects to mm. clear their ex-codes um, and their top management in terms of making sure that qualifications are verified so that they don't end up uh, on the front page of, 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 of the newspapers because mm. of not doing this kind of due diligence. Mm. And Kirsten, people that uh, apply for jobs knowingly that they have fraudulent qualifications, etc. I mean, why, why do they still go ahead with application? How do they think they're going to get away with it? Um, you guys obviously are very rigorous with your checks. Well, I think I think the scary thing is that um, as many people are screening, there is many people that are not screening. Mm. So you you it, it's really uh, taking a chance and hoping that that the company that you apply for doesn't do the the checks that they should be doing. Mm. Um, as a I would estimate that uh, only 60% of South African businesses are doing cost due diligence on, mm. on their hires. Mm. Well, I mean, I know from my own experience with the previous jobs that I've applied for, I haven't been asked for references or copies of my qualifications. It's definitely something that has um, gotten stricter and, and improved over the years. Yeah. Have we taken a bit longer than the rest of the world to kind of uh, catch a wake up in this department? Yes, I think I think um, I think we have been slightly uh, slower. Um, fortunately, our um, the, the laws governing are, are a little less um, stringent. Mm -hmm. Although um, the Protection of Personal Information Act, which, which obviously came into being last year, will have a huge impact on on the screening process. Um, but I think as long as companies know the process, understand. Uh, the laws governing the process, um, more and more companies will start to use screening, I believe. Mm. And final question, Kirsten, and I'm sure this is something our viewers want to know. Uh, what percentage of government positions um, are, are found guilty of having a criminal record and or fraudulent qualifications? Our government department, we're sitting with, on criminal record stats, 11.7% hit rate. Cool. Bear in mind that it's prior to employment, so that's not individuals who are hired. Mm. And any particular province that's worse than the rest? We haven't we haven't done a drill down by province, mm. um, but the majority or, or our our biggest amount of screening does occur in Gauteng. Mm. 